Okay, so I'm not gonna do an update today because um, just tomorrow will be a week post-op, but I just wanted to pop in and say that I'm on my way back to work for the first day. So we'll see how this goes. It's six days post-op. Um, if you count the day of surgery, it's seven days. So I'm still kind of confused on how you even track that, but, but I will do a full update tomorrow on the week mark. Like, last night was the first night I like was uncomfortable and couldn't sleep, so I don't know. I feel like it's getting worse, to be honest. Yo! So I'm one week post-op officially, and I did not sleep last night at all, but somehow I feel like a lot better today and a lot less tight, which is awesome. I still feel like totally not normal at all and super weird and like alien-like in my own body, but it's a lot better than yesterday. Somehow I'm very awake even though I did not sleep for the past two nights. I'm probably going to change. Um, so I need to go to work, drink some coffee and a lot of water because I'm still freaking bloated and holding water. And I'm going to film my one week post-op everything after work and after class, so tonight. But I had to vlog right now because I'm actually wearing makeup. And I actually curled my hair for the first time in like two weeks. Um, and it's probably going to look horrible by the end of the day. So, just wanted to document that I look like a girl for a second. This always happens to me. I don't know if I mentioned it this morning, but um, I've been having some weird side effects with my antibiotics. Nothing that seemed like too major or anything, but like... My gums were bleeding this morning and like I haven't slept and I've been feeling disoriented and I kind of just kept taking it because I know you can't stop taking those because it until you're done because it won't kill the infection if there is one. I started to get a sore throat at work right after I well about 15 minutes after I had taken my first dose today. It started to get really bad I called my doctor and she said okay go ahead and stop it we don't want you to have an allergic reaction you've already taken it for a week so hopefully that you'll be okay blah blah blah. I made an appointment at my student health center because it's free there. Um, so I was just going to have them swab it so that I could see. I didn't think I would have strep throat because I'm, I've am i taken antibiotics to kill strep throat before, so you'd think that wouldn't be a side effect because it would kill it. So I wanted to know what it was, like why. I felt like I was swallowing glass, but there's nothing in my throat that I could see at work. Okay, sorry, my doctor called me back and was like, just stop taking the antibiotics. And I was like, uh, I already did that. I can't remember what I was saying. So, I made an appointment at my health center. Um, and it's at 1.30. It's only like noon right now. I left work. So I have to wait till then because that was the soonest appointment they had. So I came home, told Jarrett what was up, went in the bathroom, shone a, a shined a light in my throat. And there's literally a hole in my throat. And it's not on my tonsil. It's not like one of those little, whatever it's called. It's not like a tonsil hole. It's literally a hole that goes straight through my throat. And I went to swab it because I thought it was blood or like a dark, like something irritating it. And the Q-tip literally went inside of my throat. So I called the doctor back and told them. They said that was extremely not good. Not something they had ever heard of. And so, but I can't get in anywhere. Even urgent care would take longer than my appointment in an hour and a half so I'm just waiting and like freaking out it hurts so bad so sorry I was gonna film my post-op week one video today which I guess this ended up being that anyway but more like how much my life sucks because I always get the bad side effect of everything and now I'm probably gonna get an infection because I went off antibiotics too the result of the doctor was that I have an ulcer in my mouth um, which is not good and you can't really take anything to make them go away you just have to wait it out and it could take my doctor said it could take a week and it could take months so that's super fun okay it's now like five o'clock I think I don't know four o'clock I, I don't know I'm coming back from Whole Foods and Target because I had to buy probiotics and kimchi and sauerkraut and just a bunch of things to get my gut healthy again because that antibiotic ruined my life. My stomach hurts, my throat hurts, my boobs freaking hurt, my back hurts. I'm gonna keep complaining because my life is in shambles today. Shambles. I missed the class that I was supposed to go to, so unless I can get that excused, I'm not graduating. <laughs> 